Today we're talking about Far Cry 6. This is the newest Far Cry game after taking two years off. Like New Dawn was from 2019 and that was a spinoff of Far Cry 5 from 2018. So in this, it's a big new world, new setting, new story, this time based off of like a modern day revolution in a fake Cuba on an island nation called Yara. Uh, this is very much more Far Cry. It's a big, huge map, a bunch of things to do, and an iconic bad guy. We should address this right off the bat, like this doesn't reinvent the Far Cry formula, and even though it doesn't, it's a really fun new one, thanks to a couple of things that really emphasize the craziness. Like if you're already over these games or you're burnt down on them, this one might not change your mind, but if you can't get enough of this stuff or maybe you skipped a Far Cry or two, you'll likely have some fun here. And it did end up kind of warming my cynical heart. Now the housekeeping, this game is out October 7th and we've been playing a review copy of the game for a few days now. And just so you know, this footage was captured on an Xbox Series X and it's spoiler free. Everything you might see cutscene wise is like from the first hour of the game. So right off the bat, stop me if you've heard this one. You, you start out the game on a smaller island, kind of like intro tutorial island that you'll spend like two or so hours in. You'll learn the basics, you'll get the gist of the plot, and then you set out on your adventure. You are playing as Danny, and you get to choose between a male or female version of the character, and both are fully voice acted, interesting, and pretty cool characters. You get to see and hear uh, both in cutscenes and in third person hub sections of the game. You get wrapped up in a revolution and a band of guerrilla fighters who aim to take down the evil fascist dictator Anton Castillo and his brutal regime. Now, Anton Castillo is played by Giancarlo Esposito, so uh, you, you might know him as the uh, best bad guy from uh, everything. And we once again get an iconic villain here, and once again, you'll probably wish you see more of him throughout the game, but he's decent. A little generic at times, but I warmed up to him after a while. There's some intensity to his focus on like creating the perfect place in such a brutal way. But the dynamic with his young son he has at his side is pretty interesting. It's a nice little shake up from the usual solo big bad type thing they usually do. Now, believe it or not, having a voiced player character that you can actually see stole the show here for me. Uh, Danny is cool and a little crazy in the right kind of Far Cry way and you can make him or her look pretty damn cool too. Danny and some of the main crew were like the real standout characters, but it is very much the typical setup here. There are multiple regions, each of them led by crazy lieutenants of the main bad guy. They're not really as like memorable or like, stand out as five sub villains, but the world building is kind of cool with this whole farm 